Yeah, so I've gone through my manual and it's dated March 2011 and I can't see anything that refers to uh, linking routes or triggering routes via a train entering or exiting a uh, detector area. But obviously I've done all the latest updates on this and each update adds new features to the uh, ECOS. It's always updating and always advancing in, in the technology every time they bring an update so it won't be in the manual so I've gone through all the menus that don't appear in the manual and sussed out that you can link or trigger routes I think you can trigger up to eight different sets of routes on various different um, detector uh, zones so on this particular shuttle I've got ready to go here, when it does go, uh, it will trigger its route on exit when it exits the uh, detector zone. So I'm just, I'm just going to mess up the point. Right, so the shuttle train's leaving. When it exits the red zone, you can just see the points have just set themselves to return to this platform 5. Even though the route wasn't set correct, it set the correct the route. It's triggered the route on exiting the uh, detector zone, or you can have it vice versa. You can trigger a route when entering uh, a detector zone when it turns red. So yes, you can do it. You can trigger up to um, eight sets of routes on various detector. Um, tracks so they're yeah, pretty chuffed about that it actually does work and you can see it just triggered a point there when it entered the detector zone just for uh, example that it can uh, work on entering or exiting a detector zone it can trigger as many points or accessories as you want so once you've got a route set up all you do then is press on your add accessories signals and routes button here and then all you do, you get, you get your points, etc, all your accessories, and also routes are in this area as well to be triggered. You can do it manually, or you can add these to your detectors. So the detectors will trigger on entering or exiting. And to do that, press spanner, press edit button, which is like that pen on a pad. Press that, press on your route you want to add. Right. And then you, you get edit route, properties and constraints. This menu isn't in my instruction manual, it doesn't exist. It's on an update. Um, the last update I did, I think this was added. Press on that. Constraints, and this is my, these are my two routes set on to be triggered on uh, module 1, which is detector 1, port 1, uh, detector 1, port 2. And you can click on that and then you get your information. The route will be triggered on detector 1, port 1. And you can add up to 8 different routes to be triggered on various detector areas on your tracks. And that's it, when you tick the tick box it's saved. Press that. Go back on to... There. So the shuttle run now will uh, be triggered when it exits, like I've shown before. As soon as it comes out of here, all the points are set to come back to my platform 2. And it enters here. That's it. You can shut down all the points and run other trains. And then when you want to bring this out again, put it in shuttle mode. And when it exit, it exits this area... As soon as it comes out of the detector zone, it will set all the points to come back to platform 5 automatically. So that works fine. 